Hey everyone, uh, this is the Hazardous Intent Podcast. Sorry, that like Spider-Man. Hey everyone, uh, I'm Gunner. And I'm Joe. And we like to talk about entertainment and stuff. I had N-word written on my notepad. Whoa. Not the N-word, it like literally just said N-word. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was talking about yeah. like, conspiracies and shit. Yeah, so yeah, it was yeah, like, uh-huh. this person said the N-word. And I was like, oh. Right on. Anyway. Do you want to start news? Let's start some news. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is two new video games from the Lucasfilm oh, yeah. game department. So we actually got... LucasArts is back. Yeah, LucasArts is back. It's pretty cool. Uh, we actually got one from Bethesda. They are currently working on an Indiana Jones game, which I think is just going to be pretty fun and cool if they can do it right. Don't fuck it up. So, <laughs> Dang, come on, Bethesda. I, no, I, I think it'll be fun, but uh, the the more exciting one is the fact that uh, so EA has lost the main license to Star Wars. Thank God they said, know. "Give me this shit. We're yeah. taking this from Dis- you." Disney took it back, um, and so now we're actually gonna get a game from Ubisoft of Star Wars, but it's gonna be an open world Star yeah. Wars game. What do you think it's gonna be? Because <laughs> they have. I'm not sure. Uh, somebody said something about how the team that's making it, Motive something. Yeah, Motive. Yeah, they're, it's like their Motive team because there's also an EA team called Motive as yeah. well. But this is their Motive team for Ubisoft. Uh, anyways, they said that they posted like an ad or something not that long ago that was for third person shooter stuff to help program for stuff like that. So it might be something where it's only maybe blaster combat kind of and stuff because they were like there was no mention of anybody with like melee combat so everybody's like it's not gonna be uh, like a lightsaber lightsaber and stuff this probably won't they can still have like melee stuff but yeah right right and that's kind of what i said when i saw that post i was like i mean it's still possible that they'll have melee but it looks like for the most part it's gonna be somebody who's probably not a jedi it's not, you know, anybody like that with a lightsaber. Do, it's just going to be somebody with a gun. Do you think they're reviving 1313? That'd be fucking sick. <laughs> I, I doubt it. I doubt it, too. But, but I know that... Let me fix this shit. Okay, you fix that shit. But I know that a lot of people are like, 1313 looked amazing. What happened to it? But then also, there was the... I remember also before, like, the first two Battlefront games came out and shit, mm-hmm. um, they had, like, a single either screenshot or, like, 20-second video of, like, someone in Star Wars on Tatooine, like, walks out of a door, and it's, like, this cool place, and everyone was like, it's, like, the Uncharted of Star Wars, because there's, like, parkour in it. It might have been mm-hmm. longer than 20 seconds, but still. That's and basically so I, what I wonder 13, if it's... 13 was... Well, I know, but it was different because I think gotcha. thirteen thirteen was like younger Boba, like he didn't have green armor and stuff like that. Gotcha. And then this other thing looked like more of a rebel thing. Yeah, I think with it being open world, thirteen thirteen might make more sense. Do yeah, it, like oh, I mean, I guess EA doesn't do GTA five. What if what, what would you do? Or not EA, uh, Ubisoft. Ubisoft, they do Assassin's Creed though. Yeah, and that's the I, thing. Uh, well, I'm just saying because I was gonna say vehicles and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where I'm a little concerned with this open world game because I do like Ubisoft and I do think that they make beautiful open world games. The problem is, is recently with their open world games, they make them, like, it was starting with, like, Black Flag. Black Flag was, like, the first one that really started, I mean, Assassin's Creed 3 kind of as well, but not as much as, like, Black Flag. It's, they make these really big maps and, yeah, they look good. But there's just all this collectible side shit that you have to get that takes hours and hours and hours. And it never makes you feel like you want to finish the fucking game. I played Unity. Yeah, (laughs) we know. (laughs) We don't have to get in that tragic backstory. (laughs) The the villain tale. (laughs) But uh, I'm definitely interested. Right, right. And I mean, there's a lot of people who think it could be some kind of like Mandalorian game. Not necessarily like the, the Mandalorian. Yeah, not the Mandalorian, but like some kind of bounty hunter or something kind of game or something like that. Yeah. Which I, I, I think would be pretty cool, especially if you could do it right. I mean, give it a cool story. Give it a fun and nice, clean looking open world. Give us some cool vehicles, customization. You got me. Yeah, that's, I mean, the, only, that's the only thing that I'm wondering about would be like their vehicles because i mean 
I don't know. Well, I guess Ubisoft has done. Ubisoft has done Far Cry. Yeah, they did. Far okay, Cry. so they kind of. Who knows? Yeah. I mean, Far Cry isn't third in person, but still. Because I was just wondering, because like I said, 1313 would make more sense because then they could base it on Coruscant and then have like vehicles and stuff. But I haven't seen Ubisoft do many third person driving things. Yeah. Well, uh, so otherwise from that, let's go ahead and talk about something real cool. We got our first pictures of Mortal Kombat. I was like, woo-woo, baby. Uh, I'm really excited for this movie. So uh, obviously there was a couple of pictures that stand out more than others. Such as Steve Harvey Let's fighting Shaq. <laughs> what the fuck? No, that's Steve. So it's Jax, but everybody okay. keeps making fun of him and saying it's Steve Harvey. Because he's got it actually, the mustache. Yeah, it actually looks like... I haven't seen these images. Can you send them to me? Yeah, sure. Send me the thingy. So I can deal without having to like sit on your lap. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, the first picture obviously is the best of this, which was Sub-Zero. And he's making his knife and stuff. I was about to say, I've seen the Sub-Zero one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but there's there's some really cool ones. The the Jax one though, somebody pointed this out to me. It looks like in this one with uh, Jax, he might be holding like a hammer, which would be Shao Kahn. I was say yeah, it looks like he's because it looks like at the bottom of that thing, it looks like there is like a stake that the person's like right. shoving into him. So if if Jax is taking on Shao Kahn, that'd be fucking nuts in this movie. Uh, we did learn a little bit more about this movie as well. There's a couple pictures of this one guy in a cage fight, and that's actually a new original character, not from the Mortal Kombat games. And he's some kind of like caged kickboxer and fighter, and he's going to basically be the main character of the movie. He's, it's Which is an interesting take, because Mortal Kombat 4 did that. They added like uh, original characters and stuff in it. And it was a little bit of a mess, so I don't really know. But as long as the other characters are still in it and they get their own time to kind of shine and stuff, which it looks like from these pictures, I think that they will. Let's see, who's this uh, scarred up, bearded dude? That's Kano. Yeah, that's okay. uh, he usually has the silver plate in his eye. I don't think that he really kind of has it all the way yet because he's got the robotic eye because it glows red. Okay. But he, was there a trailer or just these images? Just these pictures, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah. Because well, they, they kind of look like, with how all over the place they look, they kind of look like it's a trailer. Yeah. They really kind of hyped these pictures up. They were like, yeah, we got something special coming for Mortal Kombat fans, blah, blah, blah. And it was like, hell yeah, we're going to get a trailer. And then they said, we got pictures. And I was like, right, that's close, but still not what I wanted. But I mean, it. I know that that first one that they made, or... You know, the the last live action one they mm -hmm. did. People are like, this is goofy. Get this out of here. But people love it because it was goofy. <laughs> it's it's like a cult classic movie now. Gotcha. Because people are just like, this is great. Even though it's ridiculous. I was say, but this actually looks like... this like It I, looks I, like I, they got a lot of quality. In I was the about to say, if, if I wasn't someone that knew anything about Mortal Kombat, this like looks like just a generic, like good action movie. Right, yeah, exactly. I like this picture. Uh, it, that's a Sub Zero and then Scorpion fighting each other, which oh, is rumored they to become. be. It's rumored that that's like the beginning of the movie. It's supposed to be just like this fifteen minute opening, and then it's gonna have like at least ten minutes of that or something is what somebody said of just Scorpion and Sub Zero fighting one another. I'd be like, that'd be fucking insane if that happens. <laughs> I was like, that would just be nuts of ten minutes of just pure. The main two characters of Mortal Kombat, basically. Mm -hmm. They're not the main characters, but, but they're that's, the faces. They're the, yeah, they're the ones that everybody know. Exactly. Them just going at it and fucking each other up until Hanzo eventually dies, you know? Yeah. Scorpion. But, man, it, like, it, if that really happens, that'd be cool. So, uh, the one thing that I noticed, though, with these pictures that I was like, aw... Is they don't have anybody as Johnny Cage. That's what I was wondering. Yeah, they they have it confirmed an actor that's playing Johnny Cage, and then there there was no pictures of him. I'm like, is Johnny even gonna be in this movie? No. Like the rumor is that he is he's still gonna be in it, but we just don't know who's. Playing I was gonna make a joke that the Cage Fighter was Johnny Cage because he's in a cage. Yeah, I made the mistake of I thought that was Liu Kang at one point, and then I was like, well, I looked at the other pictures of Liu Kang, and I was like, that's not Liu Kang. <laughs> Like, that... Unless he just grows his hair out and this takes place across, like, years. <laughs> gotcha. So, 
Yeah. I, I'm really excited for it, though. I'm, I'm I'm a pretty big Mortal Kombat fan. No, I haven't played every game. Sorry, don't crucify me. Kill Mortal em. Kombat fans, but I, I I'll I tell you his address. Lot. It's <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> don't put me out there like that. I'm gonna get doxed. No, but no, I'm pretty pumped for it. Along with that, though, some other just Warner Brothers news for stuff that we're excited for. Uh, we got the release of Godzilla vs. Kong. It is now moved up by two whole months. It's now going to be coming out March 26th. So I- I'm pretty excited that it's coming out sooner. Which my dumb ass thought it was in March anyways. Well, that's I was I, I was thinking about that the other day and I looked it up. That's because it was supposed to come out in March at one point. When they <laughs> delayed it the first time, it was going to come out in March. Of last year? No, this year. Oh. Yeah, they, they delayed it from whenever it was going to come out last year. I don't remember when. But then they delayed it to March. And then all of a sudden it got cl- it was getting a little closer and they went ahead and delayed it again. I think probably because like the just editors case. and stuff. I think it was more so just editors. They were like, mm-hmm. we need more time. So, so wait. But then it was like, okay, never mind. Let's go ahead and put it back in March. I think whatever they wanted to finish or do, they finished it. And so now they were like, let's put it out sooner than what we originally wanted to. Did you see we got some shots from it? We got, yeah, we, there was a little small HBO Max trailer that they did, this ad and stuff, hyping up for this, this year Hyping and up stuff. their movies and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it started with a, well, so, so it started with the Sub-Zero making the knife, and then it was Godzilla. Like, laying on, on the ground. He's like, yeah, he, was like, he like hopped out of the water, and then there was Kong, and he just busted the fuck out of his face. Yeah. It was awesome. He said, super clock, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm, I'm pretty excited for that one as well. I think it's going to be. A good time. I know it's... my dad's super excited for it. Yeah. When I, when he figured out, after me having to tell him like three separate times that it was going to be a thing, he was excited. There you go. <laughs> All right. Well, after that, I think it's time we should go ahead and talk about some of this DC bullshit. Oh. Oh, yeah. I think I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'll start with some good DC stuff first. We'll get some to good the... DC bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get to some of the bad shit later. Uh, but the first thing we have is Martian Manhunter is confirmed to be in the Snyder Cut. We will see a scene with him, which we, we, we kind of expected that would happen because Zack Snyder had posted, you know, storyboards and stuff that you oh, see Martian Manhunter. Yeah, of him visiting Lois? Or is it... I think it was Lois, but I'm not sure. I'm not 100% on that. Because I think but... it was like Lois and Ma Kent were like... <laughs> Clark's dead, and then Martian Manhunter's like, well, maybe I shouldn't be green anymore. <laughs> Even though, like, would he show up green for? <laughs> well, no, he's he's this guy, the general. No, I know. I know oh, he turns yeah. into that, but it's like, yeah. I think in the storyboard, he's like standing in the hallway, not disguised, and then he disguises himself. Gotcha. So it's like, why'd you walk up right. <laughs> normal? But anyway, so I'm, I'm pretty excited that we'll see Martian Manhunter again, you know, but now this time finally in good live action, unlike Supergirl. Got him. Whoa. Uh, another cool thing about the Snyder Cut is now we know the Snyder Cut will no longer release as a four-episode thing. It will now release as a full four-hour film. I guess Zack Snyder must have talked to somebody. <laughs> Said, change my mind. Yep, and he's like, I don't want to edit it this way or something. Something changed his mind, and he managed to change Warner Brothers Studios' mind and stuff. But So they said, cool. So now they're doing a full four-hour movie, so... Get your popcorn, grab a pee bag, be ready, dog. <laughs> it's going down. And then there's me who's like, my body's just going to be like, and time to shut down. See you in a minute. Right. Yeah, no, it was kind of funny. I told my, my dad and stuff, and he was like, uh, well, I told my whole family and everything. And then my sister was like, how are we supposed to watch that four hours of that and stuff? She's like, what if I have to go to the bathroom? Dad's like, I'll have to go three times. <laughs> I was like, got him. <laughs> I was like, well, that's why we could pause it. We're watching it at home. It's not like they're playing it in the theater. It's only coming out on HBO Max first. So yeah. let's let's relax. I mean, my, my dad will be like, I thought you didn't like DC. I'm mm-hmm. like, can you just shut up and watch the fucking thing? <laughs> All right. Now let's talk about the big controversy, the big cheese. The man. So Ray Fisher has now confirmed that Cyborg was written out of The Flash's script. And it looks like he might be gone from the role. We're not 100% on that. But he put out a big statement. Again? Yeah. <laughs> he, he put out, it was long. I was like, damn. He put out a big statement talking about how he would rather be gone from this movie and 
be gone from the cyborg character to help make change and everything. And I think that's, you know, that's a good thing. You know, you're willing to put your whole career on the line for, you know, holding people accountable for actions and stuff, especially in Hollywood. Yeah. Where there's been people doing wrongdoings for years. I mean, it's it's been going on for forever there. And you pull out the filthy Frank bean. It's time to stop. <laughs> So I think it's insane, you know, that he's willing to do that because it's they're trying to basically at this point Warner Brothers just wants to shut him down. I think, or at least some people in Warner Brothers do. Meanwhile, he's also released audio recordings and stuff now already of what he had with Warner Brothers investigator. And I mean, they were like, "You're you're a gentleman. You've been a great guy. You've been honest with us, and we're gonna try to make you know do the best that we can to present that information and help make change." For you and everybody that was involved and stuff. And to make sure stuff like this doesn't happen again. And I think that that's important. And I'm glad that he's making this movement. But at the same time, it's like, is he really okay with sacrificing basically his whole career for this and stuff at the same time? Plus, I mean, just as a fan, it's like, it it sucks to now know that Cyborg's not going to be in this Flash movie, especially if it's Flashpoint. Because... Cyborg's not, like, a big part of the Flashpoint comic, and I know that it's not straight adapting the comic, but at the same time, it's really cool when Flash is, or not Flash, Cyborg is in it and stuff, because he's gotten even more cybernetic than what he used to, because he got even more blown up and hurt and stuff, so now he's even more cybernetic, and he's a lot more badass in it, too, and he's working with Batman and stuff. So I, I thought it would be really cool to see him maybe kind of like that more, you know, even more serious, I guess, than what he already is. Or, I, mean, I don't know, maybe because it's a different interpretation, they would have made him more close to what he is in the comics, which is, you know, more not so uptight and actually fun. <laughs> no offense. I, I actually liked his character in Justice League. It was my favorite part of the original Joss Whedon Justice League and stuff because he had such an emotional story. But at the same time, I, I just would prefer... To see him a little bit more lighthearted, kind of like they do in Doom Patrol. I think Doom Patrol does a fine line with their cyborg of him being really funny and not taking things so seriously to him also having some trauma and stuff where he, he, he does take stuff a little bit more seriously. So. I know nothing about it. I saw Teen Titans. Good job. <laughs> You're really involved. Yeah. But anyways, uh... That's that's about it for some DC stuff, Aroonies. We could go on and talk about the, all the crazy Marvel stuff. Got some fun stuff and not so fun stuff. I'll start with the not so fun thing, or maybe it is fun. I don't know. Maybe more Spider-Man stuff. No, 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 no. no. I mean, it, it involves Spider-Man. I, maybe <laughs> it could be. Uh, it's Morbius. Oh my God! Oh yeah, Morbius got back? delayed. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's not coming out till October eighth of twenty twenty one. Stupid fucking vampire. <laughs> <laughs> they said we got to make this a Halloween movie. <laughs> so uh. Okay. Oh okay. What? Nothing. What? Uh, nothing. Why? I wasn't listening. You need to listen. <laughs> this is important. Because you said the date it got pushed back to, and then you're like, they went on Halloween. I was about to be like, oh, they push it back to October, <laughs> and then I was like, don't say that. <laughs> Genius. Um, but we, you want to talk about Spider-Man? Let's talk about Spider-Man. We got set I, pictures galore coming out for this movie right now. Can't show them. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> uh, they, they're not really spoilerish. I wouldn't consider this spoilerish. I actually think this is cool because this gives us a good idea of what this movie could be about. Because there is one in particular where we see Tom Holland walking in the street and there's Christmas trees and snow. So this could be a Christmas movie. Like Iron confirmation Man that Miles Morales is showing up from the game. Hell yeah. <laughs> he just swings by with the earmuffs on. He's like, ah, I know that so. <laughs> and then another cool thing, he actually has another new suit. Which I actually don't think is cool, but you know, some people might think it is. But to say I, I think it's ridiculous that talking, he's got another new one, but you're talking about the one that's rumored or the one that no shown. his, new, his yeah. suit is different it's new yeah i know because got... I, I saw i saw well because i saw that someone pointed out the fact that it's different and then i also saw someone be like he's supposed to have an all new suit and i'm like well define all new yeah because he's got a new suit barely but it's not all new because it's yeah it's not like identical. all new but it, there's de- there's definitely the black looks more blue this time it's not as dark I as black I pictures okay and then there's there's less lining as well in the black. There's more 
like the lining's at least different. It looks more dotted almost, kind of like <laughs> Sam Raimi Spider-Man in a way. And then they removed two parts from his hip. He had like these two little black bands kind of around like his hip. Like the leather strap stuff. that in the original, not the original suit, but like the homecoming suit mm-hmm. held his web things. Yeah, yeah, web yeah, 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 yeah. Recharge. Retard. Reloading. It's not like you said retard, but you said recharge. Web retard. <laughs> and then, of course, now he has a, a white outline around his spider. So. Well, he always had one. It's more prominent now. Yeah. Which, yeah, that was the like the first thing I noticed, which... I need to go to my other one. <laughs> but, yeah, no, I... It's fine. I mean, I don't. I mean, no. I mean, it's not like a big change. It's just the fact that his suit is changing so much. And I, I'm gonna be honest with you. Maybe it's just because I'm an old school Spider-Man. Don't say fan. it. I'm an old school Stop. Spider-Man fan. I like the red and blue better. I don't like the red and black or red and really dark blue. I'm not a fan of. It. I didn't like it when they showed it in Far From Home, and I don't really like it now either. I, I'd prefer if they just gave him his red and blue back. And don't make it CGI. How about that? Listen to that one, Sony. You fucks. Well, at least they're doing better with it. Like, I don't. I still don't understand. Like, you see the, the suit that he wore for Civil War. It looks nothing like the suit that they show. Like, you can tell that was yeah. completely CGI. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't. I mean, they didn't fix it all the way. I think Far From Home. I don't think they use that much CGI in it because you. No, see, they use less in it. They they start, I think somebody listened a little bit and they were like, "We should try to do more practical suits." Yeah, because you see that behind the scenes of the suit, and it looks like how it is in the movie when he's just right, like sitting, right. like that meme of him in Zendaya, and he's got the eyes out and shit. Yeah. Um. Can't find any pictures. Come on, dog! You're supposed to find pictures. Oh, there was another thing. This is, I guess, a this was something re- somebody really zoomed in on and they found, which I guess you more so could consider this one spoiler, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but it said something about the citizens defend Spidey or something. Citizens are defending Spidey. I was about to say, Spidey. someone released a whole video. Not a, like, I say a whole video like it's a lot. It's a short video, but there's like a poster board and someone's like scanning around it and on it there's like pictures of Mysterio and then it's like, I believe. Mm -hmm. And then there's other pictures that are like support Spider-Man or something like that. Oh my God, we're going to have a civil war. (laughs) In New York. (laughs) Um, Which, speaking of which, there are, I don't know if you heard this, but supposedly Charlie Cox has finished his filming on the... Yeah. Set of Spider Man 3. I wasn't really going to want to talk about this. A lot of the times where I save some of this news stuff that we talk about for you guys because we're not investigative journalists or anything. So we don't Yet. find this shit our fe- ourselves. Right? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it's. Uh, I sometimes go and, like, you don't have any fucking. Ed- See, and that's why everyone's like, the rumors coming from credible sources. No, they're not. Well, see, and that's the thing. <laughs> it's, it's completely only something from comic books. Which comic book usually gets their sources from, like, Deadline, The Hollywood Reporter, and other websites and stuff yeah. like that. That usually are right. They're not all the 100% time, like, right and stuff. But a lot of times they are. And so those are more credible sources. This, this one... Brand new suit. Ooh, whatever. But this one is literally just from comic book. They said they got an exclusive and they now know Charlie Cox has wrapped his filming because they saw him on set. And, and I'm then, like, I don't think so. And then what I hate is that people on Instagram are going, what does this mean? Do you think he finished as Matt Murdock or do you think he finished as Daredevil? I'm like, I don't think he was there in the first place. Yeah. Because I mean, like, I've seen stuff before about this fucking movie where they're like, like when they're having casting rumors of like Doc Ock coming back and everything and all that shit. And I'm like, What's your source? And they're like, Collider and all this other shit. And so I look up Collider, Dr. Octopus, and all they say is, is it a spoiler to say Doc Ock is coming back? And then they just talk about spoiler culture. They literally don't say where they got their information from. They're like, is it a spoiler to announce the cast? Well, we heard that Doc Ock is coming back. Spoiler culture, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, you're not saying anything. You don't have any information. You're just saying that he's coming back. I can say that too. Robert Downey Jr. is going to be in Spider-Man 3 exclusive. Hey! hey! <laughs> That's so loud, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> oh, don't know where we stand. Tenet. What? Tenet. What? Idiot. 
autumn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so this is another big rumor that's going around that might be controversial, might not be. Apparently, Black Widow might premiere in theaters and on Disney Plus premiere. Access. That's been confirmed, denied. Oh, has it really? Yeah, I saw something else that when that rumor started going around, Disney Plus was like, uh, "No, we're not making that mistake again." Because <laughs> they saw the backlash on. W- Warner Brothers for doing that, and also they saw how Mulan didn't do too good on Disney Premier Access. Yeah, they're it's like had more streams now that that, that it's free. Than yeah, it did with Premier. So, but yeah, Makes no, sense. they 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 were like, we're not doing that. <laughs> I honestly wish that it would just go on Disney Plus at this point, though. This movie has no hype for it at all anymore. I, I think for a majority of fans, everybody's like, of course they're they're still gonna go watch it, but I think it's lost a lot of its like. Oh my god, I'm excited for this movie. I never was in the first place, but I was like, oh, cool. Well, I guess I'll watch it, even though I wanted this movie four fucking years ago. No, yeah, it's like, we want it, I want it. Five now, or whatever. Like, whenever Civil War came out, it was 2016, right? We wanted it, yeah. We wanted it before Captain Marvel came out. And then they're like, Captain Marvel is the first female-led superhero movie in the Marvel Cinematic I wanted it to be Black Widow. Exactly. I don't care that it's a woman. I care that it's Captain Marvel because I wanted Black Widow first. Everyone wanted Black Widow first. And they're like, Captain Marvel. And then like three people went, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, whatever. And so another cool thing, though, is we have rumors of Chris Evans returning as Captain America. Yeah, well... Apparently he's made some kind of new deal, and he could be coming back. He went to Twitter after the story broke, and he said it's news to him, and he denied it, but... He was like, no, but that's like the same thing as like... No, she literally, I stuff. saw, yeah, I, there's, there was a, something I saw and stuff, I didn't save it, but it was a, it was somebody saying, like, this is the same thing as She-Hulk, this is even the same thing as Haley Steinfeld and stuff, yeah. being cast as Kate Bishop, they both kind of said things where it was like, no, we're not, and then it was confirmed, yes, yes, they are. And then there were pictures taken, it's like, you're right here. Yeah, so, it's, it's very obvious that it's like, okay, um, no, <laughs> you probably are. <laughs> You liar. You dummy. Speaking of which, since it's kind of related, uh, well, I, I kind of heard that it might be Nomad, but who gives a fuck? Um, there are, there was a leak of a picture. I don't know if you've seen it. I'll pull it up. Okay. But a toy pic, a picture of a toy was leaked showing uh, Sam Wilson as the Falcon, but like in Captain America gear oh. and then uh because every toy has to be like look it's like from the thing like you know mandalorian's like mandalorian toy and then they have a picture it's like in case you're retarded or something yeah i heard about that i just didn't look at it because i was like yeah i don't really want to see it just you don't in want case to? yeah i was okay. just like I, I don't know if it ends up being true even if it's on a toy i'm like i don't, I don't know i'd rather just be like well no like i said it. they have like image from the show like it's got a picture of anthony mackie in the suit oh wow is why people are like fucking idiot but uh but then again they also use the infinity war iron man suit for the end game iron man suit so they're not always (laughs) yeah they're like look it's the end game iron man suit and i I looked at that and i went this is infinity war you just painted his arms yellow yeah like no we didn't so let's go ahead and let's see we got Kevin Feige, he teased Nova recently, so I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, when he was doing a bunch of his interviews and stuff for WandaVision, somebody asked him about Nova, and he said something about how they're not, you know, they don't want to shy away from cosmic stuff. They do want to talk more and do more movies about the but cosmic But no one characters. cares about the Eternals. Yeah, no, no, I don't care about the Eternals. <laughs> if, they did, if they did Nova, I'd be like, fuck yeah, Nova's cool. Well, everyone but, was kind of wanting Nova to, like, show up and... The last two Avengers movies and mm-hmm. shit. They're like, is Nova gonna show up? No, Nova's Nova's cool, bro. I'm and like, I remember some cool. people were, didn't don't know what fucking color scheme is, and when the Captain Marvel beeper showed up at the end of it, where everyone or because I used to work at a theater with you back then, yeah. people would walk out and be like, that was Nova, and I'm like, those aren't. That was color. hilarious. <laughs> listening to people's theories. That's one of the best parts about superhero movies. Whenever they show. <laughs> 
at the theater, and then just hearing people walk out in their theories, and you're like, you're you just hear them being so wrong. stupid as fuck. Yeah, just hearing people walk out of that movie theater and go, "That was Nova." I'm like, those aren't his colors, yeah. idiot. It's like, no, that's Captain Marvel. It's like his star is red, also, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's like he has a red star and then like gold and blue color scheme. And then. Also, in one of those same interviews that Kevin Feige did, he talked about the possible return of literally any of the characters from Marvel Netflix. Yeah. And he said, Charlie Cox and Spider-Man 3. <laughs> he said, never say never, and that it's anything is possible. So, let's, let's keep that hope out there, guys. We could save Daredevil still, if nothing else. I mean, I, I still really want to see Punisher get saved as well. And I, I'd love for all of them to, you know. We've, we've talked about this before, but... Like, come on, at least Daredevil. Don't, not to get political, but did you hear that John Bernthal, like, apparently people who fucking broke into the Capitol had Punisher logos on? Yeah. John Bernthal was like, can you fucking stop? No, yeah, he, he, that, I think that's another, you know, good thing and stuff, honestly, because the Punisher logo has been used a lot, and it's a lot of times by military, yeah, there's a lot of time military groups that use it, and, which I think is more so okay than what was used since he was in the the Capitol. Right, exactly. Frank Castle is a character that served in the mer- meritary. Meritary. Mili- meritary. So he served, though, and it's like, so that makes a little bit more sense. But at the same time, there's other people that always get the Punisher logo, and they use it as just this thing of hate and stuff. And he spoke out against that, saying that Frank Castle was a traumatized man, and he went through war, and that's a symbol to you know avenge his family, you know, and then take out criminals because... And, you know, kind of like a Batman way, put fear into them because, you know, it's... You see that skull and you're like, shit, I'm fucked. But, <laughs> so I, I think it's cool that he did kind of speak out against that and stuff and say, like, that's not that's not right. No, this I... isn't the right way that... Because even then, now I've heard, you know, I, I doubt this will happen because this has been happening for years. So I don't know why all of a sudden this would change. I could be wrong, but... I've heard stuff where Marvel's like, they're going to retire the character Punisher, no longer make new comics or anything for him Dang. because of this kind of stuff happening with this logo and everything. And it's people misinterpreting the character. Well, so that just gives more power to the people because then it's like, well, that character doesn't exist now. And so it's like, oh, well, that skull just means this. Yeah. That's true. Um, well, I got one last Marvel thing, so unless you got anything else, I'll throw this in there. I have a secret thing after. Ooh. It's not Marvel, but... Well, Ooh. All right, I'm going to roll the dice and throw this one in there. Don't so apparently, it. another thing said during the interviews, Kevin Feige talked about Secret Invasion, and he said that it won't have an in-game-sized cast, because everybody was like, well, if it's Secret Invasion, it's going to be gonna like bring the comic. are going to bring everyone. Yeah, they are like, it's going to be like the comic. And he said, no, it's really only going to be Nick Fury and Talos. They're the main characters. So we now know that about the show. Cool, 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 cool. What you got, homie? Let me double check to make sure I don't have any. Discount double check. <laughs> I'm not a Packers fan. I just thought it's funny. <laughs> Let me make sure it's. I just need to make because I feel like because I know I saved a bunch of stuff, but oh. I have something that I didn't save because I got fucking knowledge, man. Fucking now. Nah. I'm a fucking onion mason, and now. Nah. <laughs> I guess there was some talk about the Black Panther. Scene. Oh. Um, I don't, oh, Ethan Hawke has been cast in Moon oh, Knight. yeah, I forgot about that, yep. Ethan Hawke was cast as the villain, but we don't know what villain. <laughs> Correct. I've heard somebody say he might be Dracula, and I was like, why would Moon Knight be fighting, like, vampires in his first ever thing that we see him in? <laughs> yeah. Yes, Moon Knight, Moon Knight's fought vampires and shit before, but it's like, why would, the first thing that we see him in, why would they give Dracula to Moon Knight, whereas they, they got, got Blade, Blade coming. coming out. Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. Um, Captain Marvel has been official that she's gonna appear in the Miss Marvel in the first episode. Really? Apparently. Gross. Is uh, she gonna do show up and go, I met Captain Marvel, and she's gonna pull on her glove like she does in the one picture. And then Miss Marvel's gonna go, <laughs> and then that's it. <laughs> Um, and then, uh, there was some minor Black Panther stuff that Do- Dr. Doom and Namor might appear, um, and also something, Ow. yeah, no, 
something I also heard was a little thing about how he's going to get taken out. And apparently it's going to be uh, armored up T'Challa, like, fighting or whatever. And, like, that leads to his death in the story and stuff. Lame. But that's a rumor. I anyway, hope not. Um, that's it for Marvel news. But I don't know if you heard about this. Lil... I mean, I could have said this earlier, but I wanted to trump card it at the oh, very man. end. Don't me. say that name. Oh. <laughs> it causes controversy. Uh, they have... Who? They. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There has been some leaks, and as well as some con- confirmations. Confirm- confirmation? A new zombies map is coming to Black Ops Cold War. Dong dong! In February 4th. <laughs> Two weeks before the season ends. So we're actually getting a new Zombies map this season. If it's true. No, they confirmed it. Nuh-uh. Yeah. You're playing. It was leaked, and then they released a statement with this most newest patch. And they're like, yeah, uh, we got... They even released the logo for it, which I... Let me see if I can find it. Very nice. But yeah, I was like, February 4th. And I was like, I was like, is that really when the season ends? And I looked it up, and the season ends like two or three weeks after that. And I'm like... It's a long season. I'm like... Fuck, and they said that Which they were good because I, I still need to keep playing it. <laughs> I've been trying to play like an hour every day now. I'm like, I gotta play at least an hour, get some XP, and then I can leave. <laughs> but um, yeah, they here's the Firebase Z. Oh, so that one's confirmed then. Yeah, I mean they like they, but okay. Uh, so. Okay. <laughs> No. Somebody's so it's, too excited over So here. it's going to be adding new boss zombies, obviously. It's going to have new intel, also obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, And yeah, it's going to come out February 4th, which I'm like, dude, if each zombies map comes out 75% through each season, I don't give a fuck. That's still six new zombie maps. Yeah. Because they confirmed that there's going to be six seasons in total. But also, Treyarch was like, you may think what you may you may think you know what we have coming in season two, but you have no idea. I'm like, damn, they got us good, boys. Campaign part two. Oh my god, <laughs> more Adler and Onion Mason. <laughs> onion Woods. No, 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 no. Oh, this we're time it's Onion Mason. I'm a fucking Onion Woods. <laughs> That's my line. <laughs> but um, also with that, uh, a new perk was confirmed to be coming hold the press i have two obscure favorite perks oh one is phd flopper unfortunately it was not that one (laughs) the second one tombstone baby they're bringing back the tombstone perk very cool which do you even remember what that does nope tombstone perk is if you go down you can like you know how in warzone you're like you know what fuck this and you just kill yourself yeah you can do that and then when you come back there will be a drop, like a double points type drop with a tombstone on it. And when you go and get it, you get all your guns and perks back. I don't know if they're still doing perks. But now, they combined it with another perk that used to be in Black Ops 2 called Who's Who. Which when you went down, you would spawn in and you could buy guns and stuff. But you have to go revive yourself. And if you and you could literally live forever in that state if you needed to. Mm-hmm. But, um, I think so. I don't know. But... <laughs> Dude, I didn't fucking. I hated that perk. I was like, "Fuck this!" But Did you uh, have you tried the cranked out yet? The new mode cranked. Fucking garbage! I Dude, hate it. That shit's hard. I was like, "What the fuck?" It's is so stupid. This? It gets down to five seconds. Yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> so apparently the tombstone perk: when you die, you uh come in in as a shadow character or whatever the fuck, and you get some guns and stuff, and you spawn in the dark ether, and you have to find yourself and revive yourself, and then as you upgrade it. You get, like, longer bleed-out time. Um, and then I know that the final upgrade is that, like, if you don't revive yourself and shit, it'll make a drop that you can go and get. And it says you'll get your guns and items back. It doesn't say perks, but who knows? It's possible. Who fucking knows? Anyway, I'm just excited that they're putting another perk in. Yeah. I was hoping... I'm just excited for a new zombies map. I'm fucking tired of <laughs> what somebody calls it. Dime Machina? Dime Machina. I was hoping for... Double. It's a good map, but I'm just tired of it. <laughs> I was hoping for Double Tap. Double Tap. 
pow, pow, bitch. I gotta kill bitches quicker. Anyway. <laughs> I Anyways, think, you I ready like... to talk about womb delusion? Womb? Babies? No, what the fuck? For the children. What got, the fuck was wrong? Like, I got was, I was questioning that when they said that. That show was like, is this a cult? So, <laughs> we'll get to it. <laughs> so, the first two episodes were only an hour in total. Dude, they got six minute credits. They were, th- those no, credits were fucking say, long. No, I was gonna say, those, those episodes were short as fuck. Apparently, they're supposed to get longer, though, after the next one. Apparently, gotcha. apparently someone said... I, I feel like it was Kevin Feige, but I'm not. Don't quote me on it. Um, yeah, because the first one was. It said it was 29 minutes, but then you take out those six minute fucking credits, and it's like, well, this is short. <laughs> Plus, I mean, the intro too, because they do the full Marvel Studios intro, which I wondered if they were gonna do, and sure as shit. How do you feel it. about it being updated? Hey, cool. You know, good. <laughs> they got a Chadwick Boseman at the very end. Yeah, He's, he does his big minefield shock thing that he didn't go bloom um so. yeah no they have the intro and it turns black and white it's like oh meta i think it's really cool just because it shows i mean obviously it has infinity it. war and endgame stuff in yeah, it yeah yeah yeah. well it already had infinity war some of it i i thought it did but uh yeah no, they had already started doing some infinity war stuff i know but now it's got got in game too so i'm like very cool with kanye one of the cha- one of the good thing that came out of that A4 scene, the Wham and March in Endgame, is that they replaced Captain Marvel's spot in that Marvel logo. I said, hell yeah, baby, get that bitch out of here. I don't know if you noticed that or not. I didn't. I saw direct comparisons, and instead of her, it's like her glowing and like doing this thing or whatever, they replaced that with like all the females coming together in Endgame. I was like, all right. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. But, uh. So what did you think? I like it. You like it? Busted a nut. <laughs> it's my reaction to every TV show ever. There you go. No, but I, I enjoyed it. It was exactly what I was expecting. Right on. I know you didn't, though. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like it. I thought it was stupid. <laughs> I thought it was really lame. Um, it It's trying way too hard to be funny, and I think that it's stupid. I don't think that it is. I think it's doing that as a, I think it's doing that as a reference to what it's. I really don't think it is though. That's the thing. <laughs> That's, That's what the I problem. got. I was just like, this is they're trying too hard, and it's not really that funny. I don't know. I I really didn't enjoy either episode that much. All the stuff that I genuinely found funny was stuff that they weren't pretending was funny. Yeah, I don't know. I I knew I was gonna be like this with the show too. I I knew that I was like, you know, I don't really like it so far. But I know that it's along the line. I'll probably like it. It's just these first two episodes. I was like, this ain't for me. <laughs> I was like, this is just stupid. But now they're in Like, color. the only thing that I really, really liked was the end of the first episode. Because then it was fucking, you know. Darcy. Show... Yeah. No. What? 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 What are you talking about? It showed sword, yeah, dummy. It was Darcy. Was it? Look at her hands, bro. <laughs> How the fuck do you know somebody by their hands? That's what, I just assume because they look like feminine hands, and I was like, they wouldn't make it. It looks like feminine hands. Must be Darcy, dude. You got to make it a named character, bro. <laughs> no, I I don't know though. It's, it's feel, not like it was absolutely <laughs> terrible. It's, all, it's not it's, like I didn't laugh. It's but. not it's not worth the breakdown though, because <laughs> no. it's because nothing really happened. It's one division shows up. They're like, haha, we're married. I'm gonna go do a job, and then one division's like, it's our anniversary. One division and. I keep saying Vi- one division when I mean vision. Vision is like, no, it's not. We're having dinner. Okay, it's weird. Next episode, and then the next episode, he's like, I'm gonna call someone a communist, get drunk. That was and funny. Wanda. That was the funniest part. Was that second episode when he was like fucked up and they he was did like, the magic show? <laughs> he was just like, we're gonna lie to you and you're gonna believe us because humans just don't understand anything. And I was like, damn, got us. <laughs> Roasted the whole damn species. I do. Who, do you, who do you think the the beekeeper is? He was a sword agent. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> did you? Uh, I I I did like. I I love the little commercials. I hope they do a little commercial in each episode. No, yeah, the commercials were funny because the first episode had one where it was for a Stark Industries like toaster, and it made the repulsor sound. <laughs> And then the second one was for a watch, and it was for uh, Strauss or 
Is that what Strucker. It? Strucker, my bad. I don't know why I said Strauss. What's Strauss from? I don't know. Probably is a watch. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I got mad because I, I saw a breakdown. Cause, and someone was like talking about the toaster scene. And they were like, it's a reference to Howard Stark. And I was like, I mean, sure, but that's not how I perceived it. Because yeah. it has the Iron Man thing. I thought, especially after seeing the Strucker one, like at first I was like, oh, fucking Stark reference. Oh, that's a good one. Um, and then after I saw the Strucker one, then I realized both those characters play into the backstory of, of Wanda. Yeah, and I mean technically Tony does play into the backstory of Vision a little bit, but yeah, but he's both his, he's part of his he's part daddy of him. Part daddy. Part daddy. One third daddy. Yeah, there's three daddies. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I was like, so I perceived it more as the reason they showed Stark is because I mean he's kind of the reason she went down this path in the first, but not. Not this one, but... Very the, indirectly. The, yeah. Because, <laughs> like, he made bombs, and then those bombs were used to we, we know, blow we up know. her house. And We've seen the movies. Marvel Legends. I'm going to break it down right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't know. I think it's going to get better for me and stuff. I, and it's not, again, it's not that I didn't enjoy it. It's just, it's too... I don't know. It's just weird. I like the mystery still. I'm still in, say, I'm that, still in it with what's actually really going on because there's more to the story. That's the main thing I was interested in. That's what I was always excited for because they show all in the trailers. They were like, "Look, she's all happy," and then random moments they were just like, they're just like, "Oh my god, what's happening here?" And I was yeah. like, "Hey, I can't wait to figure it out." I don't know. I thought it was really weird in the first episode when that dude started choking. And he was like, oh my god, I'm gonna die. And they just sat there for forever. And then she's like, alright, Vision, you can help him. Like, what, is, well, what the fuck was up with that? Like, yeah, why I don't she know just what... so like, hmm, what should I do? Like, help the bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I did find it interesting, though, because I watched both of them again last night, since, you know, they were short. Damn. Um, but it's like one of the few times that Wanda does break in that. Because, you know, she's doing the, like, I'm having a gaff, Like, you know, like, that time period style of talking and that's the only time in that episode where she just goes do something like she just plainly talks she's like help him yeah and i was like oh without her accent that she had in age of ultron and they've ever been, since that movie is lost they've been fading it out i know <laughs> but uh no i i just like you know it's unfor. I, I i'm gonna be honest i'm a little upset that they're already leaving the black and white i was hoping they do it for at least one more episode i'm glad they left just because I liked it when they were like color, and I'd be like, "Oh my god!" But you know, it, I it, thought that she was definitely pregnant though, because like when she was like throughout that second episode, it was like she started getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and I was just like, "This bitch put on weight? What the fuck?" <laughs> like, did they shoot this scene months later, or what the fuck <laughs> is going on? I was like, "Damn, she's starting to look thicker," <laughs> and all of a sudden they were like, "Vision goes, oh my god, Wanda!" They just go, "What?" Boop, cut to it, and I'm like. What the fuck? She got a full-on baby bump now. <laughs> I do find it funny that now we all know why Paul Bettany said Wanda has a purple cock. It's because they had sex in that one scene at the beginning of episode Wanda two. Wanda has a purple cock? Oh Vision. my god. Vision. <laughs> Thanos. Pegging. <laughs> they, <laughs> no, Vision. Because it was like, because I remember him saying that and I was like, that's so out of nowhere. And then I watched that episode I was like, oh, I get it now. <laughs> that's why. Wanda, honey, yes, get the lot. I like how they just went, they just put the covers over their head and then didn't move. And I was like, really? It's in front of a live studio audience. Listen, dude, you just gotta shuffle them around a little bit. Just... <laughs> Turn on the 70s porn music. Is <laughs> that vision just like spewed out of his mouth? Just, ah. <laughs> The fact that he got Jesus. that, the fact that he got that one lady to dance when he was singing, he put on, she was like, "Ooh!" <laughs> like she, I don't know. No, so uh, I, so they kept being like four of the children, and and people have been thinking that like Mephisto has something to do with this. I think he's the if Mephisto is in this, he's a villain. He's well, yeah, obviously, no shit. So what, why the fuck would you say that? <laughs> Don't don't interrupt me like that, bro. Hey, no, I think he's the Agnes chick or whatever. I a lot of people think that she's his assistant because he has an assistant named Agatha Harkness, and so they think that Agnes is Ag Agatha and then Miss Harkness. That'd be interesting if they did that, though. That's what a lot of people. Think. Otherwise, I'm thinking he's like straight up her. 
Like, he's, yeah, 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 yeah. He's he's possessed. Well, then her. people are also like, oh, she keeps talking about her husband Ralph. Maybe that's what she calls Mephisto because we've never actually seen <laughs> Ralph. <laughs> You need to tell me Ralph, which goose the wife so you don't lose the wife. <laughs> but, uh. Bro, when Wanda came downstairs, though, in that coat, I was like. <laughs> in the first episode, because she thought it was their anniversary. She oh. Said, I got you, homie. Special the... night. I was like, guess who? I, I love that episode, because they, they were like, it's Sokovian. And I was like, oh, got him. <laughs> but yeah, now he's like. <laughs> Breakfast for dinner? How how European? And I was like, oh. <laughs> you tell him Red Foreman's wife. <laughs> but it Kitty. was it was so weird because, like, at the beginning of that episode, it's like, oh, you got to figure out if you get to keep your job by I have to have dinner with you. And then at the end of the dinner, it's like, we'll talk about that management position. I was like, this was to see if he got to keep the job. You're just going to promote him like that? I do like the fact that <laughs> Vision was like, I feel like little things show how they don't believe in this reality. Like Vision being like, what the fuck do we do? Yeah, no, they were like, what, what do we do here? And he's like, computing. He's like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> yeah, no, he was like, he's like, do we sell or buy something? Like, no, and no. It's like, so what does we do? He's like, you, our production's been up 300%. He's like, of what? <laughs> he's like, you're not telling me any information. I thought that's funny, though, how he's, like, trying to hide and shit of who he really is. And yeah. yet, at work, he was like, with his fingers. I'm like, bro. You're like a computer vision. I, I, like, he said that, and I was like, do they even have computers? I think that's cool, though, because that's actually an old-school Superman reference, though. No cap. Typing that quickly? Yeah. Anyway. uh, Yeah, no, I think, and the fact that they said for the children, so Mephisto, if he is a part of it, which I'm not... Ugh, I'm not going to tell myself that he is. I'm going to be like, maybe, because I don't want to like ruin it for myself, the mm-hmm. the solving the mystery and shit. But, you know, they keep being like, for the children and stuff. Apparently in the comics, Mephisto does this exact same thing to Wanda to get her to make super-powered children. And so people are like, that that's what this is all about. They're trying to get kids out of her. Which doesn't, whatever. That'd be weird. She just magic pregnates herself. Well, I guess, I think in the comics, eventually they're like, oh, they don't exist, actually. And Wanda's like, no. Kid. Anyway, but uh, I was gonna say something about the rabbit, Mister Senor Scratchy. What? The rabbit. Oh, <laughs> I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? She said he needs to stir the show. But but no, I like it when there's color and stuff. <laughs> I do like the both of the fucking. I mean, I get it. They're trying to like match the time, but like both of the commercials are really sexist technically. Does he get mad when you burn his toast? I was like, damn, blame it all on the bitch. <laughs> and then it was like, a man is never complete without two accessories. His woman? I was like, oh, got him. <laughs> but, uh, nah, and then I like the part where, um, Dottie, she's like, the devil's in the details. And then Agatha's like, that's not the only place he is. And I was like, oh, what? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my, oh my. Dude, the, I didn't expect Nani. Monica Rambeau to show up that quickly. Yeah, I was kind of wondering if that was her or not, and then I was like, yeah, that is her. I was like, okay, okay. Because I didn't, it didn't look like her, but the fact that when Wanda met her, she goes, what's your name? She goes, uh, and then said, I don't even remember what she said. But the fact that she, like, hesitated on it, I'm like, she doesn't know. She's just making shit up. Yeah. But it is, uh, that's interesting. I'm excited. And you got Jimmy Woo. Who's doing this to you? Stop it. The one fucking blonde bitch or whatever. She was like. Who was that? It just broke her fucking hand with a glass or whatever. I was like, God damn. <laughs> Apparently, though, this kind of deals into my whole idea that maybe Mephisto isn't behind it. There has been a couple of things alluding to Marvel Universe's The Grim Reaper. Death? No, not Lady Death. No. Oh. The Grim Reaper. Okay. Let me, I'll look up a picture. Because. Doubt. Hey. <laughs> Uh, Your theory is uh, wrong, Bob. <laughs> because in... Uh, I like how I put Grim Reaper and the first thing that popped up was WandaVision. Because oh. he's... This is this is the Nibba. That dude look retarded as fuck. But look at his helmet, though. That's stupid. No, but that's why people think he's going to be It looked like Galactus's, but I didn't click on Martin Luther King Day. The fuck? <laughs> because in that Bewitched intro... His helmet was in the floor. Exactly. What? And then there was just a spider. That's a big fucking spider. (laughs) Then there's another part where there's like a shadow or something. I remember seeing something where there's like... 
It might have been a set photo, but I know I saw something else where there was like a shadow of his head. Gotcha. And then apparently, in con, apparently, uh, Wonder Man might be coming to the MCU because apparently that's a thing they have. Wonder Man. Because there's like set photos that have him in a poster or some shit. I'm like, really? It's just some. <laughs> So you know, you know the Nightwing that you got with like the red logo no. and the all black suit. Sorry, I'm doxing you here. <laughs> but it's basically a black dude that just wears that. Damn. <laughs> That's what it, I mean. I've literally oh, I put Wonder Woman. <laughs> Idiot. But like, I've literally never heard of this dude. Oh, it's a white guy. Whoa! I thought he was black. <laughs> it's because of the shadow. You can't, what the fuck? Damn, bro. You can't say it's because of the shadow. Damn. Dude, I've never heard of the character. It looked like bad lighting. What the hell? He's getting shot. You see what I mean? How? Yeah, sure. I don't care. I hope it's not. I don't really give a fuck. Wonder man. It's going to wonder your bitch away. Yaga. 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 Not Maga. Uh-oh. <laughs> But yeah, it's in color now. Why the fuck does it get the fuck out of here? It's, it's like one division, and it just has a picture of fucking the man, Aldrich Killian from Iron Man 3. Hell yeah. I'm like, yeah, he's gonna show up. Anyway, I'm. It's in. Shang-Chi. No, but he's the fake Mandarin. I know. But It'd be crazy uh, if he did show up, though. The stupid dragon tattoos. It's like, I am the Mandarin. <laughs> Well, just like, and then the real one actually, sh- the real real one shows up and goes, bitch. <laughs> Ten <laughs> rings of power, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I mean, it's in color now, so. That's what I like, though, is just when it was in black and white, you saw something in color and you were like, uh-oh. <laughs> no, and she got that helicopter, I said, uh-oh, Thanos copter, Thanos copter. <laughs> no, dude, that shot of just the helicopter sitting in the bushes, like, looks eerie. Like, yeah. when I rewatched I was like, that looks kind of scary. I was like, just the way that shot. Can you imagine though, seeing every a whole world in black and white, and then all of a sudden something in color appears? That's what I was wondering. Like, I was like, did, I was like, so does she know that she's in black and white right now? <laughs> Which apparently she did. Yeah. Which I guess was a stupid question because in the trailer she, she picked it up, said, "What's this? What's this?" And then she like color everywhere. And then she lost it. And she was like, "Fuck, where'd it go?" <laughs> I found it weird though when she was holding it and she looked behind her. It actually focused behind her. I'm like, what is it? What is that? What are you doing? Stop it. Dude, we got the beekeeper. I think... I don't know. I don't think it's just some shield agent. Or sword agent. Sword! I know, it's sword. That was what was the coolest... Again, I said it was the coolest part. I was like, oh shit, we got sword. It's finally confirmed. Sword. Shield was teasing it. And then it... Now they've gone full circle. So we got sword, baby. The sentient world observation and response department. I couldn't remember if W was world or not. I felt bad. But it's supposed to be in space. What are you guys doing on Earth? I don't know. Is Maybe it? they're in space. That'd be a fucking mind fuck, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> one is like they like they solve everything, and one is like time to time time to just deal with everything on Earth. And Jimmy Woo goes, "We're on Jupiter." <laughs> and we'll be like, "What?" <laughs> Jupiter and Mars. <laughs> That's um, the way the show ends. They just start playing Frank Sinatra. <laughs> Jupiter and Mars. Oh. In other words. <laughs> but, uh, no, I was like, I like it. I'm into it. I wasn't that much of a fan, but I'm still excited for what's to come. Solving the conspiracy. I can't wait till they get to Roseanne and Elizabeth Olsen says the N-word on social media. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Callback. Made it no. all. It's the first thing we talked about. Alrighty. Are we done? I think we're done. Wow. Wow. We did it. Sure did. I feel like I'm missing something. I don't think you are. Part of myself. That's might be accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, that was a thing. Yep. We gotta paint it out for 40 more seconds. <laughs> <laughs> sit here and just say nothing oh follow us on instagram yeah I, he the man's over here he's been posting some stuff so you gotta keep up we're not the fastest news group but hey he's <laughs> i see something i go i should really post about that and then like at two hours go behind i go oh fuck i didn't post about it yet 
Yeah, but give us give us give us a follow on Instagram. A follow on Instagram. Still keep subscribing to this channel. Let subscribe. your friends know. Give it a like. Pay attention. We have other potential things coming. Yes, sir. Involving people other than just us two. Whoa, oh, baby. Might be starting a tabletop series. Oh, baby. <laughs> Ooh. All right, guys. All right, we did it. Well, hit, we hit the hour. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, well have a good time. Happy Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Even though it won't be tomorrow, but still. <laughs> I was about to say, I was like, we don't... It is today, so... It's today, uh... I'm not, not going to say anything. <laughs> so have a nice time. We'll see you next time. Bye, have a beautiful time. <laughs> Got him. Is that